Hello, and thank you for coming to uh, our virtual open house. My name is Mike Gibbons, and I teach uh, Integrated Math 1 at Black Hills High School, along with two other teachers. We, we make quite a team, and uh, we're having fun developing this curriculum for MVP Integrated Math 1. Um, a little bit about myself. I've been teaching at Black Hills High School since the year, what, 2001, and uh, I've been... Uh, teaching in general since 1987. I know I'm aging myself right now, but uh, I've taught secondary mathematics at any every level since 1987 from pre-algebra to second year calculus. I love them all and Algebra 1 is honestly one of my favorite levels. There's so much growth during that year and it is my goal to make sure I don't know how long we're going to do this remotely but I want to make sure your students master all of this algebra curriculum so that they, they can continue throughout our math sequence and be very successful. So um, with that, I'd like to share our Google Classroom course syllabus, that kind of stuff, and then I'll come back live again with you well, where you can see my face and we'll have a closure. So let's go to the Google Classroom. Okay, so this is the Google Classroom for my third period integrated math one. The uh, one for fourth period and fifth period are almost identical. Um, and you'll see right up top there is a meet link. So when we have a designated class time to meet, students just open up Google Classroom and they go to this meet link right here, which hit it, that's a hyperlink, and that will bring them into our live classroom. And uh, Live, let me talk about uh, the things we're going to do in the live classroom. So if we go down here, and there's a lot of stuff on the Google Classroom. I try to keep it clean and organized, but we just continue to add and add and add. But what I do to combat students getting lost in the Google Classroom is I'm going to put units together in one post. So all of Module 1 is right here in one post. Integrated Math 1, Module 1. Now, a couple things. Now, students um, checked out their MVP notebooks from the library. <clears throat> if they ever lose that notebook or they're missing some pages or something, there is a link right here to the entire Module 1 from MVP Mathematics. They can open that link up and print out the pages they need. All right. There's also a modeling data frame right here that I'd kind of like to open up and talk about just for a second. So let's hope you can see this right here. So this is our modeling data frame. I'm going to open this up with Google Slides so it's a little bigger. All right, come on, come on. There we go. I was getting worried for a second. Anyway, for the first you know, for almost the entire first quarter and a lot of the first semester, we're going to be mastering algebra by modeling data. All right. And students, they will be given one of these models, and then they will need to be able to create the other models and then use all the models to answer questions. Now, we start off usually with diagrams and they can look at a diagram and usually the order that we would go if we are given a diagram is we'll create a sequence, a table, a graph and then do an explicit formula and a recursive formula. All right, We use these almost every day so I ask students to print out always have like five to ten of these handy you know we'll never use more than maybe two maybe three a day sometimes all right but this is just easy for them then to see the format of modeling data and when they master this that's half the battle right there so let me get back to the Google Classroom and let's see where it is right here get back here all right so let me explain the other things here so the MVP curriculum all right well I have taken every activity that when we're face to face we do live and uh, you know we group students and work on parts together it's really cool live and I'm trying to model that uh, virtually 
And uh, so what I've done is I've taken every activity and I've created a PowerPoint presentation of the activity. All right. Now, the key is this. You know, algebra students, some of them haven't quite learned the importance of taking great notes in a math class. So if they have their MVP notebook, these activities are right in the notebook. And, you know, when we're going through the activity together, they take notes right in that notebook. All right. And if they don't have their notebooks, then they'd have to do a lot of extra graphs and things. So the notebook really will make them much more efficient. And the key will be when we go live, as we get to know each other, I'm trying to get students to engage more in the lesson. They need to not be shy about stopping, asking questions, making comments. All right. Don't just watch the live instruction. All right, that's not how you learn math. We've got to interact about the mathematics. Now, as well as every lesson or activity on PowerPoint, and by the way, these are PowerPoint because I can show so much more via PowerPoint. And if they want to go through the lesson one more time and see absolutely everything, they would want to be able to open up the PowerPoint on a PC computer. If they open these on Google on their on their um, Chromebooks, um, Chromebooks will not open a PowerPoint other than opening it up as Google Slides, which is almost the equivalent of the PowerPoint. But Google Slides doesn't quite catch 100% of the animations. It's good, but it's not perfect, and I like perfect. So, also what I've done is below every activity I have a video presentation of the activity so if a student is absent they can always click on the videos and here let me just click on one real quick here so BAM they look like this <coughs> boy my Wi-Fi is a little slow today now, this is my intro. I'm sorry. Okay, here is our first section that we are going to do in the MVP integrated math. Okay, let me get out of there and get back to my Google Classroom. All right, where were we? So I just wanted you to see that every activity, there's a video. All right, so I've taken a lot of extra time to create the PowerPoint and create the video, but I'm trying to create an atmosphere for remote learning where kids have access to the curriculum whenever they need it. All right. Now, nothing will beat the live instruction when we're doing it together and they can interact with me and each other. But again, there's dentist appointments, there are times when kids are not available. And if you've missed anything, the video and the lesson are all here. All right. And, uh, at the end of each unit, there will be a review. Now I ask students to print out this review via Google Slides, usually uh, two to four slides per page. Do the review, and then we'll do a live presentation of the review, and there's a video of the review too. Now, the entire first unit is already done, and I have a handful of students that are working ahead, and that's okay they are more than welcome to work ahead <clears throat> they just need to make sure that they don't get to a point where they're just finishing to finish material if they start to lack understanding they need to slow down and get back with us and I never want them to miss one of our live lessons um, also with each um, section there's a ready set go homework assignment and those are really important because ready set go it's kind of hey ready all right did you get the stuff from the activity set can you apply it and the go is taking you introducing some stuff that we're going to get to on future lessons and such so um, the best thing for our students to be doing is being engaged during live instruction all right knowing the videos are there if they need more 
and if they need more than that they can email me anytime all right and taking great notes it's it's so easy for students at this age to uh, watch the video okay I've got it I'm ready and you know learning mathematics is about so much more than watching a teacher teach or watching a video you really need to be engaged in the learning taking notes is the most important thing they can do notes asking questions and interacting okay so that's the curriculum piece and I'll, I'll will always have a module together in one post so it's easy to find everything and um, that's the first week review stuff uh, anything else here oh I always also post the solutions to ready set goes I want students to be able to check their work what I don't want to see is okay uh, Mr. Gibbons assigned the 1.5 ready set go let's get started and I do not want them to open up the solutions first they have every answer right there all right and we're also working on video tutorials through MVP on all this stuff too but I want them to do the ready set go and then check their work okay um, the other thing I need to do is let me get back all right and I want to make sure you see the course syllabus which is also in the Google Classroom and let me get back to the stream so course syllabus I think it's down towards the bottom here somewhere let's see yes here it is so here's a link to my course syllabus <coughs> excuse me alright and this is my classroom at school so I'm not there to pick up here but here's my email where you can get a hold of me anytime you want and the most important thing that uh, you guys need to see in the course syllabus is the grading categories and the grading scale so I know I'm probably going a little bit long right now so I'll try to make this quick but um, there's course description and all kinds of good stuff here but here's what you would like to see I am sure the grading scale is traditional 0 to 59 we don't want to even talk about that but the D's are 60 to 69.99 C's would be 70 to 79.99 B's would be 80 to 89.99 and A's would be 90 to 100 all right and some of the students because of last spring where when we first went remote we frankly couldn't hold kids accountable for learning and we had to change our entire grading scale students need to realize that we are back to a traditional grading scale so be aware of that you know and have students they should have a goal of what they want to get and work towards that all right now the weighting we're also on a 90 10 system in the Tumwater school district so exams which are summative assessments are worth 90 percent of the overall grade everything else is considered formative and that can only make up the remaining 10 percent so those ready set go homeworks go in the 5.5 percent category when we start doing quizzes those will go into another 5.5 percent and participation is things like at the end of units when we're live I'll send home progress reports to be signed things like that go into a 1 percent and then the exams which I think your student will have taken their first exam just before you have seen this uh, open house maybe about that time and that would go into the 90 percent category right there all right I know I've gone long here so I'll come back to where you can see my face we'll have a closure and say goodbye again thank you for watching my video on our open house and uh, <laughs> welcome to re my remote classroom right here by the way I just I'm looking at my face again and realizing oh my uh, yeah uh, my wife's a teacher too so her classroom is in our office and my daughter is a junior at Tumwater High School she's taking classes in her bedroom and I volunteered to make my office the bedroom so we we brought a desk into the bedroom and here we are you know and uh, yeah no that vanity mirror whatever it is right there that's not mine that's my wife as you guys can see I I'm not spending that much time staring at a mirror to make sure everything's perfect but I do my best and then I just realized too here I am an old ZZ top shirt rather than a nice button-up and tie but 
I'm comfortable. This is the virtual classroom right here. Welcome to it. And again, thanks so much for coming or watching this open house. I wish you all a great evening. Bye-bye.